so now we're going to do is um, Galatea I don't know if you guys can see more or less of kind of sketch very light sketch of um, Galatea plant so again I'm just gonna light it up a bit Pencil drawing. And with the Kalatea, we know that, let me try to show you from the image that I'm following. As you can see, we know that it has those like, kind of little different colors of green in the middle of the leaf and then we know that this very kind of um, Bordeaux um, wine color on the back of the leaf so what we want to do is paint it very lightly and then we add just a little uh, strokes with the dark colors and here we just paint it as well we do the same technique This one, Sansevieria, um, which apparently is called um, Modern Lot Tango, something like that. Don't know why. <laughs> so, we're going to try to do this one. And you can see, like, it's not like super easy, but if you think about it like simplified, you just think about the leaves and you just draw the leaves, and then you just have like um, the main. Like you know that this one is darker side, you know this one is lighter. So even if you don't have like this kind of gradient um, shape on it, it doesn't matter because you still draw something, painted something. So the idea is like trying to simplify it, what you see and not go, trying to go overboard on the 
on the painting on the details basically so when this all dry because I still have some strokes around here from pencil strokes I'm just gonna try to remove it Uh, yeah, if you use gouache, if you um, know any other brands of brushes that I recommend that you like to use, um, please let me know in the comments. Don't be shy. <laughs> and uh, I'll be happy to have a look and uh, probably give a try to them. Um, what else? Right, so we already gave like the base. So we tried with the little bit lighter ones, which are in the middle. And then the ones on the middle in the back, so give a little bit of depth. And now we, I know there is a bit of darkness here. I'm gonna try to do that kind of gradient. That's for little. That's for me is the hardest. The sad darkness they do it amazing. Um, so I'm gonna give a try on this one. I'm gonna wash the brush, pass it through on a cloth a little bit, then try to blend in, doing circle motions. Ah, work better. This time I try a little bit more the brush. Yes. I need to go again. that looks much better all right I managed to do something <laughs> as in I managed to do something that I wanted to do for a while I've always been afraid of to try and here is a bit lighter on these sides
Sans Severia. <laughs> and that's about it. I is finish. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Um, I hope you can see the difference um, with the image that I show as well in the video so you can guys get have an idea. Let me just take the stroke out. I hope this gives you some idea of the plants that I did and how to you know work it out your perspective your um, with the shadow um, with a bit of the depth of the plant as well sometimes it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be perfect it can even be like you add these two in exactly the same color but because I add that little shadow I try to give a little bit of depth to the leaf so then it kind of creates that kind of distance that you know it's behind the other one so sometimes these little tricks um, that you can do to help it out to give a bit more uh, depth like these strokes here didn't didn't help for example didn't work but um, yeah this I think the color was not as set as it should be it should be a little bit more uh, opaque and uh, here's the Calatea it looks pretty good because as you can see in a really really small pot <laughs> I probably should make a little bit bigger pot and the Mostria which I think looks really really nice so thank you thank you so, thank you so much for watching um, if you like it if you want to leave any comments uh, you can leave any tips even if you know a bit more about gouache that I do uh, <laughs> you, I'm happy for you to leave any tips or comments about it um, for you that are a beginner I hope you enjoyed this um, is this a beginner level gouache maybe uh, maybe between beginner and intermediate maybe <laughs> because it has a little bit more depth maybe yeah um, so yeah I hope you got you like it and enjoyed it and um, and thank you so much for watching bye